What if I told you you could be your own little supplement factory, your own little antioxidant powerhouse that's creating antioxidants as byproducts of cells to be able to fight free radicals and get the most out of your life? What if you didn't have to go to a supplement store and pick something off the shelf? Well, I'm telling you there is something that is a byproduct of every single cell in your body and it's called alpha lipoic acid and it is one of the most powerful antioxidants that is available. Now one of the most interesting things about alpha lipoic acid aside from the fact that it's a powerful antioxidant is the fact that it is both water and fat soluble. Now if you see my other videos you've seen me talk about how important to know the difference between a water soluble vitamin and a fat soluble vitamin is. See, a water-soluble vitamin can be excreted through your urine. A fat-soluble vitamin usually has to be taken in or consumed along with fat in order to be absorbed. Well, the cool thing about ALA, or alpha-lipoic acid, is since it's naturally occurring in the body, our bodies know how to break it down one way or the other. But before I go into a lot of detail on how alpha-lipoic acid can ultimately help you in terms of fat loss, in terms of muscle building, I want to explain what an antioxidant is and how an antioxidant can actually play a pretty significant role when it comes to your metabolism. You see, an antioxidant is something that fights a free radical. And free radicals, we see them on packages all the time, right? You buy a box of green tea and it says, helps eliminate free radicals. Well, what is a free radical? You see, a free radical is a byproduct or a waste byproduct of any kind of food metabolism, energy metabolism. When you have a cell and that cell is producing energy or that cell is being converted into energy, there are byproducts, simple waste byproducts that are oxidized and those become free radicals. Well, those free radicals can cause all kinds of things. They can cause abnormal cell growth. They can cause abnormal cell proliferation, basically meaning you can start growing rogue cells and rogue portions of cells. And this can lead to all kinds of things. At the end of the day, there is a lot of link that says free radicals can lead to disease and lead to cancer. But more so than that, free radicals can lead to a slowed metabolism on day one slowing down your glucose uptake and slowing down your ability to burn fat and ultimately build muscle to have the best body that you could possibly want. Now I want to explain exactly how alpha lipoic acid can help you burn fat and help you build muscle. So I want to lead off with a study and this study talks about diabetic patients and I know you may or may not be diabetic but this study makes some pretty solid sense. See what this study looked at was patients that were obese and diabetic. They gave these obese diabetic patients 600 milligrams of alpha lipoic acid daily for a couple of weeks. And then they took a control group that they gave a placebo to. What was interesting, after a couple of weeks, those that consumed the alpha lipoic acid had a significant decrease in their body mass index and their overall fat mass, meaning they lost body weight coming from fat. But additionally, they had a lower blood sugar level and an increased level of glucose uptake. And I'm gonna to get to that in just a minute. You see, what's important to know is it's thought the reason these people lost fat mass was predominantly because of something called insulin signaling and insulin resistance. You see, when you consume something, your body secretes insulin. And when your body secretes insulin, that insulin shuttles glucose into the cell so that the cell can utilize that glucose for energy. Well, if you don't have that insulin response or your body is insulin resistant, like in the case of a type 2 diabetic, that insulin can't really trigger the glucose to go into the cell. So that glucose flows through the bloodstream and ultimately can hit the liver and get stored as fat. This can lead to, of course, excess fat accumulation, but it can also lead to disease and other side effects of high blood sugar. Now, the interesting thing is alpha lipoic acid triggers this insulin signaling response but it doesn't trigger it through traditional insulin response. You see what it does is it actually mimics insulin. So you can actually uptake glucose into the cell without having a traditional insulin response like you would get from eating sugar. Alpha lipoic acid can mimic insulin. That's the most important part of this video. So if you have high blood sugar or you're trying to increase the amount of glucose that gets taken into the cell to give you more energy in the gym, to give you more energy and more brain power, then alpha lipoic acid can assist you with that. And how does that affect you again? Well, it's simple. When that glucose goes into the cell, it's not floating through the bloodstream. It's going into the cell, it's giving you energy, and it's not getting stored as fat. But where do we get alpha lipoic acid? If you look at all my videos, I'm always talking about trying to get the most bioavailable form possible. I'm always talking about trying to get it from food. And the thing is, since alpha lipoic acid is available in just about every cell in the human body, you can imagine it's pretty common in a lot of foods as well. You can get it in broccoli, you can get it in high amounts of red meat, and you can get it in organ meat. But the problem is, because it's such a sensitive molecule, it gets broken down when you cook it. 
it gets broken down through any kind of adulteration. So it's one of the very, very few antioxidants that is actually more potent when it comes in supplement form than when you get it from food. It's more bioavailable in a capsule than it is from your food. And that's crazy for me to say. I don't usually talk like that. Now again, I have to say, I'm not a doctor and I don't like to recommend any specific kind of dosage, but I know that that question is going to come up. And I can say based on the research that I've looked at and what people have told me and the scientific evidence that I've seen, 600 milligrams per day seems to be the right kind of amount to get a mainstream effect of it, to help glucose uptake, to help insulin signaling, and to ultimately help fat loss, help glucose tolerance, and to get you the most out of the supplement without going overboard. Now, one thing that I've noticed when I take alpha lipoic acid is it can definitely make your urine stink a little bit. And that usually means that you're not absorbing all of it. So as funny as it is, you may wanna use that as your reference point to back off your dosage a little bit or increase your dosage as necessary. As always, keep it locked in here in my videos. If you have any questions or suggestions on videos, just go ahead and put them in the comment section below. And I'm happy to look at them and get some ideas on more videos that can help you be your best self. See you in the next video.